Okay, so I've changed the way that I contour my nose and uh, I know that a lot of you guys have been asking for updated, uh, updated tutorial because the last one I did was forever ago and it was pretty different. So first we're gonna talk about my nose. <sighs> what are we trying to accomplish here? What are you trying to accomplish when you're contouring your nose? Keep in mind, and you'll probably know this if you've watched any of my other videos on co contouring or highlighting, that dark areas, when you place down a contour shade, uh, we are pushing something back in space. We're trying to minimize it. We're trying to not bring the eye to it. We want it to go away. Uh, and when you highlight something, you're bringing it forward in space, okay? So the lighter things are going to come forward more. They're going to stand out more. Now, I don't do a ton of highlighting my nose. I did take a little bit of concealer down uh, the bridge of my nose today simply because I needed cohesive color in that area. I typically just focus on the contouring. The product that I use uh, is my favorite cream contour products. I prefer creams. I think it's a little bit more forgiving, I think. Um, I like doing it. I like doing all of my creams and then setting with powders. It feels more permanent when you have powder or when you do it with powder, you know, like, oh, I really can't mess this up. But if you mess up with creams, you can kind of like buff it out a little bit, fix it, then go in with your powders. You know what I mean? The product that I use is the KKW Beauty Contour Stick in the shade Light Medium. This is my favorite contour shade. Uh, it just seems to work pretty well for my skin tone. I've talked about this a million times. It's nice and cool toned enough to be a contour, but it's warm enough to work with my olive skin. And the product itself is quite nice. You can shear it out or build it up if you need to. Uh, the brush that I'm gonna be using, this is the BH number no. nine brush. They always come in sets. So if you want this exact brush, you might have to just like pick up the set, but they also have like a lot of sets uh, that have these brushes. It's basically like a little, um, I don't know what you would call this. Detail or crease or pencil brush. It's not really a pencil brush. It's a little bit different. It's like a little bit more domed than a pencil brush. Something soft that's gonna give you precision. That's basically all you really need. Um, all right, so now when we look at my nose, the top of the bridge right here is the most narrow part of it. So it gets pretty small in here. I do have a bump as I turn. You can see that my nose goes out this way a little bit more. So it's crooked, it goes this way. When I turn like this, you can see, you know what I mean? Especially as I get older, you can see it more, but it kind of goes like that. And then I do have um, kind of a bump in the bridge. So like right here, it gets a little bit wider, which makes it just like a little bit more jaggedy, kind of hard to contour. As we get down here, the um, tip of my nose is a little bit more, it's not really round, but like it gets a little bit wider, you know, like there isn't like a ton of, um, it's not very refined. In other words, uh, it doesn't have like a ton of shape in this area. And that's where I really like to focus the product because I like to refine that tip a little bit more. Uh, and because this area gets narrow, I don't really like touch it and I try not to bring attention to the bump. So that's what we're gonna be doing. First thing I like to do is if I turn my nose like this, you can see it just kind of like comes out like that which doesn't really bother me, but I do kind of like to lift it a little bit, which makes it look a little bit shorter. So I'm gonna pick up product on the tip of my brush and I'm gonna shade right underneath. So like right here, just underneath the tip of my nose. And depending on how high that you take that, it will make your nose look more lifted. So right there, I'm gonna wipe off my brush because I put down quite a bit of product. First, I'm going to show you how I lay it out and then we'll blend, okay? So that's the first thing that I like to do because I like to lift the tip a little bit more. Um, I'm going to pick up more product. And then I want to even out basically the whole thing. So since this is so narrow and then it gets wider as we come down, I want to make the tip of the nose a little bit more uh, refined, a little bit more narrow to kind of just like even all of this out, which is also going to help make it look a little bit more straight. So I'm gonna bring this in here and then kind of drag it up, but I'm gonna stop before I get to that bump. I'm gonna do the same thing here. And since my nose is a little bit more crooked, I like to kind of like bring this one in a little more, which will help kind of like, you know, more of a straight line, I don't know. I try, I don't know how much it helps, but that's the idea. And then I'm trying to narrow this area, but I want to 
like I said, bring less attention to the bump. So I'm just gonna kind of like fade it up like that. Um, and you can see that this side right here goes in a little bit more. So I'm not really gonna touch that side. So I'm gonna wipe off my brush. I'm gonna start off by blending this out. Now what I like to do is use a light hand, use like a combination of padding and buffing motions. I wanna keep the product where, I'm, where I put it. You don't want it to like go all over your nose, otherwise it's gonna look like, I mean, it's gonna defeat the purpose and it's just gonna make it look like you have bronzer all over your nose or something. Then using that brush after wiping it off, I'm going to tap this product in and I'm gonna pull it down. So this area, I want to make darker, push that back more in space and it's going to make the tip of my nose look a little bit more refined and narrow. So very lightly tapping over that product and then I'm kind of just like fading it upward. All right, now that's obviously like a very harsh line. So what I'm gonna do now is take the sponge that I used for my foundation, and I'm just going to slightly buff over the top of that. And by buff, I mean pat. So just in the areas that need like a little bit of blending, I just wanna soften that a little bit. But I'm trying not to move my uh, sponge around too much so that I don't like just totally get rid of it. Now, another thing that I like to do sometimes, sometimes I don't do it, is take a little bit more product Sometimes I'll just use whatever's left over. And I like to kind of like cut this area off, which makes it look even more lifted. So if I just place a little bit of a shadow right here, it looks like I almost have like a little bend in my nose there. Um, and then obviously like the higher you bring it up, the bigger it's gonna make the end of your nose look. So I'm gonna blend this down a little. This gets tough because I get a lot of breakouts on my nose. <laughs> Just shading that area. So it looks a little bit more refined, tiny bit smaller, ever so slightly straighter. Now you can go in with like a highlighter or something and make it a little bit more, um, I don't know, intense, but I don't really like to do all of those steps. And then when I set underneath my eyes, I do like to bring my, well, I'll just show you right now. So I'm gonna bring a teeny bit of concealer. Uh, this is, uh, Lime crime. This is Tarte Shape Tape in Light Sand. I'll just put a tiny bit of concealer right here. And by doing that, i use this little brush. This is the Rare Beauty Concealer Brush. By lightening the wider area of my nose, it kind of makes this area look like it's all part of my under eye. So it's kind of tricking the eye into thinking that my under eye goes like this, goes all the way in which is going to make my nose look even more narrow. So I'm just gonna buff. What's buffing? Buffing is this. I'm gonna pat. Um, and you don't wanna take it too high up because it'll be more obvious. It'll just look like very disconnected. So make sure that you're not like overdoing it completely. You just wanna do tiny little refinements that are gonna look more natural. See? That's it, that's all I do. It doesn't really like change the shape too much, but it does refine it a little bit more. Obviously, like you can still see the bump in my nose, but it just makes it look a little bit more small, a little bit more small, refines the tip a little bit, and uh, the color, like using colors there is going to kind of just make it look a little bit more cohesive with the rest of my face, because I do like to contour my lips, my jawline, my cheekbones, you know, that's it. That's my nose contour. I hope that helped you. Uh, remember, you wanna get rid of something or push it back in space. You don't want it to be noticed. Use contour if you want to highlight or bring something forward using a lighter color. That's it, noses. If you have any tips, leave them in the comments down below because I'm basically always changing my nose contour.